us to embrace their idea of acceptable sexual mores. He's appalled when his church gives up the true gospel for a cheap and often false brand of commercialism and prosperity. He's appalled when his church turns a deaf ear to injustice, racism, sexism, classism. He's appalled when his church is pimped by shysters who make themselves rich on the backs of poor folk. 911, sir. We have, we have an emergency. Truth has fallen, stumbled, and staggered, sir, in the streets, in the gate of the city where governmental, political, and legal decisions are made. 911. The truth has fallen, fallen in the street. But Mr. Dispatcher, as worse, as bad as things look, there's no need to send a paramedic <laughs> because not only was God appalled, God was also moved to action. Therefore, his own arm brought salvation for him and his own righteousness, it sustains him. Since God couldn't find anybody to defend the truth, his own arm, brought salvation. The anthropomorphic reference to the arm of God refers to the power and the strength of God. And the righteousness of God refers to his flawless character, his impeccable character. God says, of my own power and of my own character, I will defend the truth. I will bring about justice. Oh, brothers and sisters, God says his salvation is not dependent on human beings. Here is an Old Testament preview of the gospel that God alone saves without human effort or human strength. Mr. Dispatcher, I told you we got some victims are down. Truth has fallen in the street. And I know it looks bad, sir, but you got to trust me. Don't send the paramedic because of his own arm and his own power. He's going to defend the truth because as I keep writing prophetically in verse 20, I see one coming. The, the, the Redeemer will come to Zion. Mr. Dispatcher, as I keep looking prophetically, I see if I look past the period of the prophets, as I look past that 400 year dead space between the testaments when the word of God was rare, as I look into the New Testament, I see the shadowy figure of one who looks like truth. But that truth is not fallen in the street. He's standing in the streets. I see one who declared, I am the way. I am the truth. I am the life. Oh, Mr. Dispatcher, I've discovered something about truth. You can't keep the truth down. Truth crushed to the ground will rise again. He is a personification of the truth that we ought to, ought, ought to proclaim. Since he personified it, we have a responsibility to proclaim it. I step out of character now to tell you I got a friend who told me that every time he gets ready to go out of town to preach revival, his wife realizes that she can't go with him. So she hugs him at the door, gives him a kiss, and says, baby, whatever you do, when you stand up tonight, make sure you tell the truth on Jesus. That's what I come to tell you. Tell the truth on Jesus. Tell the truth on the truth. If you don't tell the truth on the truth, winos won't be saved. If you don't tell the truth on the truth, prostitutes won't come off the corner. If you don't tell the truth on the truth, hellbound destinies won't be altered. Tell the truth on the truth. Listen, truth crushed to the ground will rise again. It looks bad, but do you hear what I hear? I hear the marching of, hof, of, horse, of horse prints. I hear horses coming in the background. I think I can see it now. Mine eyes have seen the glory of the coming of the Lord. He is traveling out the vintage where the grapes of wrath were stored. He has loosed the fateful lightning of his terrible swift sword. His truth is marching on. Glory, glory, hallelujah. 
His truth is marching on, marching in the face of postmodernism opposition, marching in the face of those who don't like it, marching in the face of those who want to kill it. His truth is marching on. <laughs>